Hey, how you doing? This is Kitch, and you are watching me play Warp Torio. We just finished uh, speed modules. Let's go ahead and get our warp beacon researched. And uh, I want to go and make some speed modules. I guess... Does it say how many it'll hold? It holds four. Uh, can we just go ahead and manually make those? One, two, three, four. Yeah, we'll just go ahead and build those. And uh, we'll put those in there and uh, see how that works. Um, our oil reserves are a little low right now. They're about they're about halfway. So I want to get out and uh, and do a little bit of oil searching. But first, what I would like to do is come down here and grab some stone and get that process a moving again. Uh, because we're running a little bit behind as far as walls and stuff. And we don't really have anything. Do we have anything military that would be nice to have? Uh, laser turrets. Something we're going to have to get to. Uh, we, we're going to need some better electricity first. Yeah, I mean, we don't have a real big need for any military science right now. Oh, it sure would be nice to go down the bot route. Uh, maybe we'll look at that too. But I kind of want to focus on the actual uh, mod uh, technologies because I believe they will help us out a bit going forward. Um, okay, I'm going to go ahead and uh, research or get, get these speed modules built. Uh, we'll get the warp beacon built. And uh, then we'll go out and do a little hunting for some oil. All right, warp beacon just warped into place. Uh, let's go ahead and throw our speed modules in there. And we are getting an 80% crafting speed increase on uh, these guys. All right, now let's take a look down here. And okay, so it is not coming down here, which is, uh, which is very disappointing. Um, I read... Uh, th this wording could go either way, right? Um, infused with warp inter waves on the first underground level. Creates an improved beacon infused with warping waves, comma, on the first underground level. That's the way that I did that. That it's on the first ground level, but it covers the entire place. Uh, so what that must mean is that it covers the entire place... This, this whole level right here, not the entire, like, place, as in all the beacons. Or all the, all the different levels of the platform. Uh, that's kind of, that's kind of disappointing. Um, oh well. Uh, it is what it is. Uh, we've got some oil down there. Uh, it's, it's only two of them, though. I kind of want to look around to see if we can do something a little bit better. Uh, because I feel like we probably can. Um, let's look around here to the north and uh, we'll see what we can find. Uh, we're starting to get medium biters again. That doesn't make me very happy. See if we can take some of these out. I haven't been doing a lot of biter clearing. Uh, per perhaps I should. Um, perhaps that would be be kind of a wise move. I'm uh, not sure. Not sure at all. Yeah, I'm surprised by the medium biters. I thought it would have reset our pollution down to zero, uh, but we're still getting mediums and things. I don't know. Maybe I need to. Maybe I read the mod code wrong. But that's the way it's been working. I don't know why it wouldn't would all of a sudden not work that way. I just work here. Do 
get these guys cleared out here. Did notice there was a really nice uh, oil setup up here. I, I don't remember if I mentioned it or not. I was a little distracted uh, by the biters, but yeah, no, this uh, this this looks fantastic. Uh, let's go ahead and set up our claim here. Would you go away? All right, yeah, this is mine. Um, all right, let's go ahead and set down our little warp device here. And how many of these do we have? We have five. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, and uh, I'll probably have to run power all the way back to the base. All right, maybe not. Uh, maybe with this upgrade that we did, uh, we've actually got enough power now. Uh, that would be fantastic. Uh, let's see. Let's go ahead. Let's double this up. Oh, we don't have enough turrets. Um, I don't suppose we can walk through here now. No, still can't do that. Uh, what if we threw some garbage in here? We need to get... Uh, what do we need? Uh, we need turrets which we need iron and which you need copper for and probably some ammo. Uh, let's grab some of that. Uh, we'll grab some copper and can we make it? Yes, we can. We probably just wasted a lot of energy. Uh, one, two, three. Oh, we're missing wall, too. Uh, we can take out this wall in the middle. Fill in some of the holes. Uh, we've got two holes left. Problem solving. Just like that. All right. Might want to make some repairs here and there. Uh, we got our extra turret. We're still waiting. There it is. All right. I think that looks good. Uh, let's go ahead and get this fixed. And I don't think we're going to be able to warp through, but just uh, driving back is fine by me. Uh, maybe we look into taking out this base on the way back. Rock. And uh, yeah, we'll try we'll try clearing out some of the bases and uh, see see what that does. And we got some worms here. Let's get those out first. All right, I've taken out some frustrations on this world. <laughs> oh, boy. All right, let's take a look around here and see how things are. Uh, let's see, you guys never really got a good, good startup supply there, did you? Probably not. We'll go ahead and
Uh, take all the stone, get it smelted down as well. Um, everything looking good over here. How is ammo? Ammo is all right. How's your ammo? Okay. We can get our car fixed up here. Uh, stone. All right. Now we are looking good. Let's go ahead and do a supply run here. We'll get circuits, copper, iron, full inventory, and uh, yeah, let's see. Get you taken care of. Since we're not making circuits down here, that is going to empty out a lot slower now. And uh, since we're not making circuits down here, uh, this is going to empty out a lot slower now. All right, uh, let's see. We're not researching anything. Um, let's do let's do productivity modules. I think those will be a lot handier down here uh, than the actual speed modules. Uh, what's wrong? Are we full on this stuff again? Yes. All right. Uh, I don't know what we're going to do with all this solid fuel. I guess we just put it in there. I mean, we could use it for smelting, uh, things like that, I guess. All right, that's a lot of fast transport belt. Uh, what do we need in order to make things like the splitters, uh, electronic circuits, and iron? Let's get some of those. And uh, just just iron. Get some of those as well. Let's unhook that pipe machine because uh, that seems silly. Take a lot of those gears and that'll increase our output on that by quite a bit. All right. Um, we need to start upgrading some of this to red. And I'm going to start at this end and move this way. Uh, did we get some coal on the belt there? I think we might have. Of course, we're not going to see any benefit from this until it's all red. But go ahead and start. Uh, there's productivity modules. Um, warp energy. I want to do this. Uh, let's start that, and we're going to have to go down and make sure everything's clear. Uh, let's do that while we're working on the red underground stuff. And uh, let's go ahead and queue up some productivity modules as well. And we'll get those in the beacon and see if that helps. Uh, all right, you... Uh, this area right here needs to be cleared out. <laughs> Spaghetti stuff. Oh, it's so much fun. Uh, this needs to go into there. All right, and that opens up that. And we'll see what this warp energy thing, when it comes in, what it does for us. 
Uh, you guys getting some oil? Uh, doesn't, doesn't look like it. Uh, we probably need to go up there and check on that and see what's going on. Uh, but first, I need to remember what I was doing. Oh, we were clearing out that down there, uh, so that we could do this right here. Uh, upgrade you, upgrade you. Uh, we are going to need to upgrade that. Go ahead and get this now because I will forget about it if I don't. And uh, that right there. All right, I'm not sure if we're going to be producing a full red belt. Um, I seriously doubt it. But that certainly should be enough to get all of our all of our furnaces running. Yeah, there we go. Very, very nice. Okay, warp energy is finished. We'll go see what that's about. Warp reactor accelerator accumulator. Uh, what time are we on? 45 minutes. Well, see, now I'm all confused because now we're not getting the medium biters anymore. Are any of those mediums? I don't think so. Uh, we'll hold out. Actually, this thing needs to be warped up like a lot. What time are we at? 46 minutes. Um, we'll see if we can wait for a little while. Maybe 48. I don't know. I'm just pulling random numbers. Uh, what was I doing? Uh, we want to research something new. Um, I don't think I want to go into that. I want to head toward this, I believe. And we need that for that. Uh, let's do that. And uh, that's going to lead us to the next level of that, as well as the next level of logistics upgrade. Okay, let's come down and take a look at our energy thing and see what that's about. It's something about making uranium fuel cells. I'm not Sure, what's this? Heat exchanger. Uh, you need water. And you make steam. If I'm reading that correctly. Not sure. I have questions. <laughs> I, have, I have many questions. Uh, the warp energy upgrade allows the warp reactor to process some of the energy it harnesses when it warp and also create uranium, uranium fuel cells in the process. The upgrade is located at the lower underground platform. So are you making uranium fuel cells and need water and require steam? Is... Is that what I'm looking at here? Now oh, we're going to need water down here. Um, that's going to come in. Uh, 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 no, that's that's down here. Um, that would have to come in there. And then go across down and somehow hook up into there and if that's going to make steam we'd have to take steam out yeah I was going into this with the thought that uh, we're going to need these later up upgrades in order to uh, it would it would be great you know just imagine having full beacon coverage and have power taken care of um, it doesn't look like that's, that's going to be the case though um 
It's like two two rather rather large disappointments right in a row there. Okay, you guys are all producing oil. Uh, just not very quick, I guess. Um, all right, we're at 49 minutes. Uh, that's past where I said I was going to plug this thing in. So let's go ahead and plug it in. And yeah, we'll charge that up and uh, get a little bit more time on this world. Uh, we actually probably have quite a bit of time here. Uh, but I'm just, I'm concerned on how long this is going to take to charge up, uh, because it's kind of exponential from the other side. Uh, well, thank you very much for watching. I really appreciate it. I will see you in the next episode where, um, yeah, I'm not, I'm not sure what we're going to do. I'm uh, going to do something. Don't know what. <laughs> thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.